everybody been asking me to tell another story. Like, what the fuck y'all think? I just got stories off the top of my head to be telling y'all and shit. Well, I do. So, let's do it. I'm about to tell y'all about the time I got lost at Myrtle Beach. Uh, I know what you're thinking. Mike, how the fuck you get lost at a beach? But I was a dumbass little kid. I was only eight, so. Me and my family, we all at Myrtle Beach, you know what I'm saying? In the hotel, vacating and shit. And it's starting to get dark. The sunset approaching. It's getting romantic. My cousin Johnny, shout out Johnny, wanted to go for a little romantic walk on the beach with this girl. And I wanted to come. He's like, Michael, you can't come, dude. It's just me and her. I'm like, oh, for real? That's how you're going to do a little cousin like that? For real, I'm just your little cousin, bro. You're not going to let me come, for real? By the way, my cousin really talked like this. He from Tennessee. He talked like that. Say my name like that and everything. Michael. It's funny as shit. <laughs> like, okay, dude, you can come. But you got to walk behind us and don't say nothing. Like, bet, you didn't even have to tell me, dude. Like, I got you. So we walking on the beach and I was not walking behind him. And I was not saying nothing. He doesn't get annoyed. He's like, Michael, shut up, man. You're so annoying. I'm like, oh, for real? I'm annoying. I'll just go home then, man. Okay, I'll just leave. When I said that, I expected him to be like, oh, no, nah, you ain't got to go, little cousin. You can stay. He didn't do that. He's like, whatever, dude, leave. I was like, oh, for real, bro? That's how you going to do your little cousin like that? For real, bro? You going to let me go, bro, alone? This dude get annoyed and he shoves me, an eight-year-old. I was a little bitch. I fell into the sand. Now I'm mad, sand all over me. I'm tearing up. I'm like, I pulled an air card me, yo. I was like, screw you guys, I'm going home. I start walking home and I'm walking for probably like an hour before I realize I don't even know where the fuck I'm going. I don't even know what the fucking hotel looks like. I start to panic like I'm on Gilligan's Island and shit. I'm like, oh my God. Why do you let me leave? I can't live here. I'm not a mermaid. I was still a dumbass little kid, but I was a little bit smart. So I thought, calm down, find yourself an old lady, and get her to help you. The reason I thought an old lady was because if someone was going to kidnap me for ransom, I could outrun an old lady. See what I'm saying? Smart. I find this old lady, and she called the police. And I'm still panicking a little bit, so I'm like, oh my god, am I going to jail? This cop get there, he like, do you know your hotel name? I was like, no. He was like, do you know what it looked like? I was like, I know what the pool looks like. This fucking hero of a guy takes me to every pool in every hotel in Myrtle Beach. Like, he's just on a mission, bro. After the second or third pool, I start having fun with it, right? Like... I'm getting a police escort to all these different pools. Shit, mine as well, right? I'm jumping in the pools when I get there, jumping back out like, this ain't the one. Let's hit the next one. Like, you got the cop car all wet and shit. I didn't give a fuck. We go to like 10, 15 different pools before I remember I got the room key in my pocket. So I pull it out. I'm like, uh, I don't know if this will help you with your investigation, but I got this room key. It's a clue. My dumbass, so apparently the room key has my hotel name on it the whole time. So, cop was mad as shit. I still didn't give a fuck. He take me back to the hotel. Family waiting outside for me, you know what I'm saying? Tears rolling. It was an emotional roller coaster and shit. Funniest part to me is my mom actually peed herself. She showed my father this guy. He was like, I don't know, but you better find him. There's a child murderer on the loose. <laughs> she peed herself.